Hi friends, our next topic is types of demand. Very important topic. Microeconomics in the syllabus in a base the pogumbo. Next to wear in the topic on types of demand. Karina video, Namal Vishadamite discuss edu, the law of demand. Definitely we can expect five mark questions from this area or two mark questions. For example, what is price demand? Or how can you define income demand? Are there any differences between derived demand and direct demand? Okay. See, in this video, we are going to analyze price demand, income demand, cross demand, composite demand, joint demand, direct demand, derived demand. You can see the types of demand in the early classification. Never. Short run demand, long run demand, competitive demand, company demand, business demand. Types of demand you can add in. But in the syllabus point of view, this is enough to get maximum mark. Okay? Warm welcome to this video. Let us start our analysis. See the first point. Price demand. We know the point. Price demand, you know, quantity demand, that is the function of price. Then we can simply say price demand, how there is an inverse relationship between price of the product and the quantity demanded. In the video, we will discuss that. So price demand that represents inverse relationship. Inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded that is simply we can say when price increases demand for that product will be decreases conversely when price decreases demand for that product will be increased that is enough okay price demand that shows the relationship between price of the commodity and the quantity demanded of that product assuming other factors that affect the demand of that product is constant satiris paribus okay right now second income demand right here you know quantity demand is a function of income you can see the relationship between quantity demanded of the product in response to the income of the consumer by assuming all other factors that affect the demand of that product is constant that is income demand that shows what when income increases the quantity demanded for commodities will be increased that is there is a positive relationship between positive relationship between quantity demanded of the product and income of the consumer okay consumer ne? Varimanam, income, wealth, kudunadin and serici, demand kud. That is, when income increases, quantity demand will be increased. When income of the consumer decreases, what will happen? Quantity demand of the product will be decreased. That means, you know, direct relationship between income and quantity demand. Right. Here, uh, we need to understand, you know, you know, normal goods. Normal goods. Here you can see there is a positive income effect. Okay. Normal goods in the world. Consumer and income the demand for normal goods will be increased. Consumers in the Varimanam Kudunadin and Sirichi, products in the demand Kudagayanangil. Normal goods in the world. And normal goods in the Etumilia future in the world. There is a positive relationship between income of the consumer and the demand for the normal goods then what about inferior goods that is really very interesting inferior goods where you can see negative relationship between negative relationship between income of the consumer and the demand for the inferior goods consumers in the varimanam kodumbol demand for inferior goods and they are okay Varimanam kodunadin and search or product in the demand we can simply say that products belong to inferior goods category.
uh, here we need to understand quantity demanded of a normal good is directly related to income please underline directly related to income income kodunadin anusarichu normal good inde demand kodum but you know quantity demanded of an inferior good is inversely related to income adava consumers inde income kodumbo inferior goods inde demand korayum conversely when income decreases there will be an increase in demand for inferior good right next type you know cross demand this is also very very interesting topic cross demand okay cross demand le nammal analyze cheyumba sradhikkandathu we need to distinguish between substitute goods and complementary goods okay cross demand ennu parayumbo what will happen to the quantity demanded of a particular product when there is a change in the price of other products it is also known as related demand simply we can say cross demand refers to the relationship between quantity demanded of one commodity and the price of a related commodity other determinants of the demand for commodity are held constant related commodities are classified into substitutes and complements that is substitutes are goods that can easily replace one another in consumption but you know complementary goods are those goods that are consumed together okay right see cross demand we are analyzing the quantity demand of x with respect to the price of y okay simple y ennu parayna product inde vilayil maatram varunnathu kondu x ennu parayna product inde demand il endu influence aanu endu maatram aanu undagunnathu namukku parishodhikkam suppose uh, i would like to uh, take an example like you know substitute goods substitutes substitutes goods ennu parayna term il enne undu nammal upayogikkunna product അതിനെ സബ്സ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ചെയ്യാം അതിൻ്റെ ആ പർപ്പസ് ലഭിക്കുന്ന മറ്റൊരു പ്രോഡക്റ്റ് നമുക്ക് എടുക്കാം ഏറ്റവും ബെസ്റ്റ് എക്സാമ്പിൾ ആണ് ടീ ആൻഡ് കോഫി ഓക്കെ ഇനി സപ്പോസ് വി ആർ കൺസിഡറിങ് ദ ഡിമാൻഡ് ഫോർ ടീ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് റിലേറ്റഡ് ടു ദി പ്രൈസ് ഓഫ് കോഫി ഓക്കെ ഒരു എക്സാമ്പിൾ പറയാം കോഫിയുടെ വില കുറഞ്ഞു കോഫി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് അതർ പ്രോഡക്റ്റ് ആണ് അതർ പ്രോഡക്റ്റിൻ്റെ പ്രൈസ് കുറഞ്ഞു വാട്ട് വിൽ ഹാപ്പൻ ടു ടീ ഡിമാൻഡ് ഫോർ ടീ വിൽ ബി ഡിക്രീസ്ഡ് വട്ട് ഈസ് ദ റീസൺ ടീ നൽകുന്ന അതേ യൂസ് ആര് നൽകുന്നുണ്ട് കോഫി ബോത്ത് ആർ സബ്സ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട്സ് സോ കൺസ്യൂമർ ക്യാൻ റീപ്ലൈസ് ടീ വിത്ത് കോഫി വെരി ഈസിലി റൈറ്റ് അപ്പോൾ കോഫിൻ്റെ വില കുറയുമ്പോൾ കോഫിൻ്റെ ഡിമാൻഡ് കൂടുകയും അതിൻ്റെ പകരമായി ടീയുടെ ഡിമാൻഡ് ഗണ്യമായിട്ട് കുറയും റൈറ്റ് അപ്പോൾ ഇവിടെ എന്താണ് ക്രോസ് ഇലാസ്റ്റിസിറ്റി ഓഫ് സബ്സ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട്സ് ഹിയർ വി ക്യാൻ സി വാട്ട് പോസിറ്റീവ് റിലേഷൻഷിപ്പ് കാരണം എന്താ കോഫിൻ്റെ വില കുറയുമ്പോൾ ഡിമാൻഡ് ഫോർ ടീൻ്റെ കുറയുന്നു കോഫിയുടെ വില കൂടുകയാണെങ്കിൽ ഡിമാൻഡ് ഫോർ ടീ വിൽ ബി ഇൻക്രീസ്ഡ് റൈറ്റ് ദെൻ വാട്ട് അബൌട്ട് കോംപ്ലിമെൻ്ററി ഗുഡ്സ് കൺസെപ്റ്റ് നല്ല രീതിയിൽ മനസ്സിലാക്കിയിട്ട് പോവാം complementary goods complementary goods inde pratheka you know these goods that we are using together orumichittana nammal ivada products upayogikkunnathu complementary goods inde best example aanu car and petrol ini ivada tea edukkana lemon tea um lemon endana complementary goods aanu suppose petrol inde vila koodi price of petrol you know that we can see increase then demand for car will be decreased okay karnada car odikunnadine upayogikunnadana endu fuel aanu petrol appo petrol inde vila koodunnadine anusarichu car inde demand koreyunu then petrol inde vila koreyugayanengil car inde demand koodunu okay complementary goods we can see cross elasticity of demand is negative karnada petrol inde vila koodumbo car inde demand koreyunu റൈറ്റ് പെട്രോളിൻ്റെ വില കുറയുകയാണെങ്കിൽ കാറിൻ്റെ ഡിമാൻഡ് കൂടും അപ്പോൾ ഹിയർ പ്ലീസ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ക്രോസ് ഡിമാൻഡ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് വി ആർ അനലൈസിങ
the movement of the demand of the particular commodity with respect to related commodities or other commodities in which we assumed that other factors are held constant right fourth type is that you know composite demand it is also a very interesting point composite demand happens when there are multiple uses for a single product that is a commodity is said to have composite demand when it can be used for many purposes for example the demand for electricity is composite demand as electricity has many uses as you know energy in industries lighting heating etc or another example you know corn can be used as animal feed ethanol and food in its whole form fifth type is that you know joint demand economics in english radhika the term itself converts the meaning joint or remittitan that means joint demand is the demand for complementary products and services that we have discussed or simply we can say joint demand refers to the relationship between two or more commodities or services when they are demanded together okay here please understand joint demand you know we can simply say complementary goods that we have discussed very thoroughly complementary goods car and petrol book and pen tea and sugar random urimichittu upayogikkunnathana okay now you know sixth point direct demand very simple direct demand you know that is uh, the demand for final goods it is also known as autonomous demand autonomous or independent okay mattulla products inde vila adu inde demand aa karyangale ettonu influence cheyunnilla it is direct it is independent it is autonomous okay direct demand namaku parapolum kaana it is you know demand for final goods so direct demand refers to the demand for final goods goods which are purchased for final consumption are called final goods we know that so the demand for consumer goods is direct demand then the last type of this video you know derived demand that is really very interesting derived demand is also known as induced demand please underline that point induced demand or indirect demand okay indirect demand that is derived le ulthirinj vera okay so this demand is depending upon the demand for other products for example oka parayarundu see demand for labor is a derived demand and an example vara products marker ee marker inde products undagunnadine anusarichittaanu endu ee marker ഉണ്ടാക്കുന്നതിന് വേണ്ടിയുള്ള ലേബറേഴ്സിൻ്റെ ഡിമാൻഡ് ഉണ്ടാവുള്ളൂ സോ ദ ഡിമാൻഡ് ഫോർ ലേബർ ഈസ് ഡിറൈവ്ഡ് ഫ്രം ദ പ്രോഡക്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദിസ് മാർക്കർ ഓക്കെ ദർ ആർ സം അതർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ആസ് വെൽ ഹൗ കൻ യു ഡിഫൈൻ ഡിറൈവ്ഡ് ഡിമാൻഡ് സി ഡിറൈവ്ഡ് ഡിമാൻഡ് ഈസ് ദ ഡിമാൻഡ് ഫോർ എ പ്രോഡക്റ്റ് ദാറ്റ് കംസ് ഫ്രം ദി യൂസേജ് ഓഫ് അതേഴ്സ് ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ദ ഡിമാൻഡ് ഫോർ പെൻസിൽസ് വിൽ റിസൾട്ട് ഇൻ ദ ഡിമാൻഡ് ഫോർ വൂട്ട് graphite paint and eraser materials okay so in this example the demand for wood is dependent on the demand for its uses right so this is about you know types of demand we have discussed seven types very simple very easy to digest okay wish you all the best have a nice day thank you